a night of horror in Beirut, with sirens blaring into the next morning. A blast leveled a big part of the city and left many without homes. At around 6 p.m. on Tuesday, a massive explosion at Beirut's port shook the Lebanese capital, leaving dozens dead and thousands injured, according to initial reports. The explosion was so strong that it was felt in the island of Cyprus, around 240 kilometers away. While people were filming the initial explosion at the port, which appeared to many as a distant fire, a much larger explosion followed, leaving many in shock. Lebanon's Prime Minister, Hassan Diab, said that an investigation into the blast would focus on an estimated 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate stored at a warehouse in Beirut port, where it had remained for six years. Officials said that those who left the material unwatched will be held accountable. Ammonium nitrate is a chemical compound used to make fertilizers and mining explosives. It is an oxidizer that can accelerate the ignition and combustion of flammable material and contaminants, and there are strict rules and guidelines to storing it safely. The images of destruction coming from Beirut bear close resemblance to two massive explosions that hit China's northern city of Tianjin in 2015, after flammable substances and ammonium nitrate were stored together in a chemical factory, leading to the death of 173 people. In Beirut, those on the ground said that the blast felt like an earthquake. The Jordanian Seismological Observatory said the Beirut explosion was equivalent to a magnitude 4.5 earthquake on the Richter scale. With at least 113 people dead and more than 4,000 injured, officials expect a death toll to rise further. The enormous explosion left up to 300,000 people homeless, according to Beirut's governor. A ship belonging to the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, docked in Beirut, was also damaged, and several naval peacekeepers were injured. The financial damage of the Beirut port blast is expected to be huge in a country that is already on the brink of bankruptcy. Secretary General of the Lebanese Red Cross, George Kitani, said that hospitals are in a difficult position. Some of them were damaged by the blast and cannot handle any more patients, meaning thousands injured from the explosion cannot be attended to. The Lebanese Red Cross also announced that a number of doctors have also died following the explosion. To make things worse, Lebanon's health minister said that medical supplies stored at a warehouse near the blast zone have been destroyed and has appealed for help from the international community. Initial government reports have excluded the possibility of a man-made attack, but the investigations are still ongoing. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.